Are you the flaky friend or co-worker? How to stop being flaky are you a flake at work? We're talking about flakiness and how it affects your work and relationships. Hey race how to deal with flakes at work and how not to be a flake. Photo by Maria Ganulu, I tried to start writing this piece approximately 1000 times, but I couldn't decide if I wanted to spell it flaky or flaky. Now, that's flaky. Unlike a buttery croissant or a soap cutting video, it's not great to be described as flaky at work. If you've ever been described as a flake, it's not flattering. Flaking out describes the last minute text message you send to your friends because you can't get off of your couch. Flaking out is over promising and under delivering at work. Flaking out is constantly feeling stressed out because you want to achieve everything you've promised, but for some reason you can't. If you can't already tell, I am a bit of a flake, but I'm working on it. Before you cast off all of the flaky individuals in your life, let's explore the reason for all these last minute cancellations. There might be a little room for compassion and the benefit of the doubt when it comes to your flake friend. Lastly, if you suspect that you're the flaky friend, read on to learn how to combat your own flakiness before your friend group casts you off forever. 3 Common Causes of Flaky Behavior Some folks are flaky because they are disingenuous, or because they are engaging in people-pleasing behavior. Some of us are flakes because we become so anxious that we stop directly in our tracks rather than solve the problem. Some of us are flakes because we're trying to give everyone constant access to our lives. In the process, we run the risk of alienating our close friends. Whatever the reason for flakiness, it's worth exploring the root causes to reduce hard feelings, unkept promised, missed meetings, and friendship frustration. Whether it's over-promising, under-delivering, or trying to make it through a heavy depression, there are ways to edit your flaky behavior to release the strain on everyone involved. I'm flaky because I'm overscheduled overschedulers want to do everything. As a result, they RSVP and enthusiastic a yes to every event and overpromise to everyone. These types of flakes tend to be your extroverts, those who derive energy from socializing with others. Since there are only 24 hours in a day, and since most of us do need to sleep, our calendars cannot contain everything. As a result, overschedulers send lots of those very long texts that detail the 15 reasons they couldn't make it. Then they promise another plan in the same text, and the cycle continues. Especially after the 2020 to 2021 lockdown, overschedulers are back to their old tricks and looking to put time on everyone's calendar. How to fix it? If you're the overscheduled flake, give your calendar a moment of white space. Put your FOMO aside for 5 minutes and set your priorities. If you're not using a calendar at all, use one. Write down the commitments you make. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.